Not everything comes free with the White House. Being the President of the United States is a tough job, though it usually comes with a few perks. Living in the White House, traveling in Air Force One, and the $400,000 annual salary, not everything is included as part of the job. Here are 12 things U.S. presidents have to pay for on their own, and 10 everyday things presidents aren't allowed to do while in office. Groceries Though the White House comes with its own chef, which comes with the residents, presidents and their families must pay for their own food. First Lady Michelle Obama confirmed this in a 2018 appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Designer clothing If the president or first lady wants to wear designer clothing, it's something they need to pay for themselves. Katie Vigilante, senior lecturer in political science at Oxford College of Emory University, tells Reader's Digest. There is a loophole, though. Designers can gift presidents and first ladies outfits, but they have to be donated after one wear, and that includes many of these inaugural gowns worn by first ladies. Dry cleaning. Not only do presidents have to pay for their own designer clothes, but they also have to cover the dry cleaning, according to CNN. This means that some Washington, D.C. dry cleaner is entrusted with the president's dirty laundry, literally. Staff or private parties. Whenever a president holds a private party in the White House, they are responsible for paying the hourly cost for waiters and cleanup crews, said Vigilante. This aspect of the festivities is not covered by taxpayers. This may deter some presidents from hosting private events in their government residence. Gifts for foreign dignitaries When other heads of state or government visit the United States, there's an expectation that the President of the United States will give them a gift. But according to Jennifer Capps, curator and historian at the Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site in Indianapolis, presidents must pay for these gifts out of pocket. Not only that, but there's a special gifts unit within the Office of the Chief of Protocol, which works closely with the staffs of the President, Vice President, and the Secretary of the State, to help select the gifts presented to foreign dignitaries from the United States. Vacation Accommodations When a president goes on vacation, they have to foot the bill for the hotel or rental house where they stay with their family, Vigilante explains. The exception to this is Camp David, which is covered, as are the costs of security and travel to and from the vacation. Private Events Outside the White House If a president wants to hold a private event outside of the White House or Camp David, this is also an expense they must pay for on their own, according to Vigilante. However, unlike private parties held in the White House, the staff are paid for through taxpayer dollars. Hairstylists Former First Lady Laura Bush was keenly aware of all the attention that the previous woman in her position got for their hair. To help her look the part, she hired her own hairstylist to give her a daily blowout, which the Bush family paid for themselves, CNN reports. General Household Items most households need certain things to function, like toilet paper, toothpaste, and garbage bags. And while the house itself, that would be the White House, is a perk of being the president, the stuff inside is paid for out of pocket, according to the Reeves Law Group. Some legal fees. In some instances, the president has to pay for their own legal fees. This was the case for Bill and Hillary Clinton, who left the White House $16 million in debt, NBC News reports. Between the defense attorney's fees for scandal investigations and the impeachment proceedings against Bill Clinton, the legal costs mounted throughout his eight-year presidency, according to NPR. Their personal homes. Despite the fact that the presidents and their families won't live in their personal residences for at least four years, they are responsible for paying the mortgage and any upkeep of the houses themselves. According to ThoughtCo, for example, the Obamas continued to pay the mortgage on his Chicago home throughout his time in office, Business Insider reports. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for content just like it.